If you recognize what this graph is, then you may be part of a small subset of the human population that really cares about what I'm about to show you, but I think it's pretty neat. This shows animal diversity over time. It's used to demonstrate mass extinctions a lot of the time, but it always starts out right around the Precambrian, right around 600 million years ago. While the updated version where we get to peek further back behind the curtain may look boring, it actually does tell us quite a bit about evolution. And by the way, this is not a surprise. We've always called it the boring billion. We knew life was pretty boring at that time. When I'm walking my class through a history of the geologic timeline, we go almost a mile before we start to get to like fish even. So that's the boring billion. But this study looked at samples from all across the world and they were able to show that something really important for the evolution of life on Earth happened around 700 million years ago and that is the ice ages. The ice ages seem to be a major driver of biodiversity. Once it happens, animal life starts getting more and more complex and the rate of speciation, the rate of new types of animals, it explodes. Why did evolution explode? That's not so clear yet. Was it simply environmental conditions or was it something where these environmental conditions that did lead to more life, more different types of life, could that have led to predator-prey relationships that were more extreme, leading to rapid evolution as prey evolved to avoid predators and predators evolved to catch up? Either way, it's an interesting new look at not really the boring billion, it's still boring, but that time period where the boring billion starts to get interesting and animals start to, start to diversify.